Baby, baby, baby. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a reveal for today. It's a Gen 1 5.0 liter with a 6R80 automatic transmission. This thing is banging about 420 horsepower and somewhere around the same torque. This is my first 5.0 uh, Gen 1 engine that I've owned. I picked it up about a week ago. Uh, the guy was a super cool guy. He hooked it up um, with all the accessories. Uh, I got the power by the hour standalone harness. I made this simple fuel system, some kind of backyard table. Don't judge me. This is a budget build. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this sucker to turn on. I tried uh, I tried making a an Intec myself, but uh, I said I would hack. I found this one on offer up for 80 bucks, so I went ahead and I picked it up. It comes complete with everything. Uh, the guy was super cool. He even gave me the the math sensor. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install that. Maybe the OEMs mounting hardware. Yeah, a lot of goodies. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set it up, mount it, and then we'll go on to the next step. Actually just received the PCM. It's right there. I got the pads deleted by Garrett Tuning. Cool guy, Brad Garrett. I uh, had a little dilemma with USPS right now. Uh, there's a whole pandemic and these government issues have been going on. Uh, but uh, it took a little longer than expected. I I got the PCM yesterday evening. Um. And yeah, that was pretty much the missing piece of the puzzle. This mortar does have uh, 24,000 miles. Came off of a 2013 Ford Mustang GT. It's all stock complete up to and including the Intec. It's a cold air Intec. The stock, stock belt, everything's stock. The only thing I just added right now, as you can see, I made a big old spill was that uh, when I filled it up with oil, I realized I didn't have the oil cooler. So I had this um, oil cooler laying around. So all I did was just pretty much just plugged it up. I could, uh, I was gonna do it with uh, AN fittings, but I realized I didn't have any, some negative six ANs, but we made it work. Other than that, got a group 34 battery. It's very good for a uh, small pickup truck. So. It, it, it should pick, turn it on or at least turn it over without an issue. I do have a 40 amp relay to the pump. The pump is from Top Street Performance. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll add all the information on the link. Also comes with the Top Street Performance regulator, as you can see, and a hardwood uh, oil tank. This oil tank, something neat about it. It comes with a pre-foam padded filter inside which pretty much sucks up all of the the fuel and when you shake it um the fuel stays inside or not stays inside but it doesn't move around so if you have it in a race car or something like that you don't have the fuel going like this it's pretty much just soaked in like a sponge and it acts as a filter as well this right here just came off an old transmission that i had this is a negative 6 a in fitting with a coupler these are negative 10 ans to negative or positive 10 ans or 10 ans to negative 6 ans got a 90 degree got a straight i'll go ahead and i'll add all the link on the bio as well i went ahead and i added some teflon tape just to ensure um, it doesn't leak anywhere any spills everything seems pretty cool up to over here is a push connect which is pretty just pretty much clip it you press in here and then it comes right off so 
pretty simple. I need to plug this up, but I mean, I think right here too. But for now, I think uh, I think it'll work. Uh, as far as a harness, I think I mentioned it a little while ago, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It is a full standalone harness. It's all plug and play. Everything is labeled. Uh, as you can see here, DLC, uh, you go to the PCM, it says PCM, um, this is the trans, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over, that's the trans, and the most important, this is a stock map, it's a mass airflow sensor, it's stock, completely stock off of 2013. Off a 2013 uh, Ford Mustang stock pedal. Uh, I made this wood table, pretty much mounted everything on there. The only thing that uh, that it's pretty much um, I have a small clearance, but I mean it's fine. That's the only thing that's touching the, the engine. Other than that, I do have stock O2s in the front, the rears. I just have them on top of the transmission. Um, they are plugged, but I mean, I think it should still give a reading. Going on to the driver's side, I have the other L2 sensor connected, the front one. The rear one's also connected, but I have it right here on the on the wood just laying around. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, the transmission is a TR60, or 6R80, sorry. It's a 6R80. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think it'll get too hot. Uh, I just turn it on for a couple of minutes. So I'll go ahead and I'll give it a shot and uh, We'll see where we go. All right, so this is gonna be the startup. These are my billet switches. I go ahead and um, I sell these myself. I can go ahead and uh, provide links in the bio or in the comments as well. This is, these both are 19 millimeters with, uh, with a billet anodized mounting bracket, as you can see. When you do press it in, you do have a red or you have green, so it's your preference of lighting. Uh, when you do uh, activate it, it's just pretty much, uh, you press it down and it turns on or it'll turn off. This is a latching switch. This will power the ECU and, and give it a 12 volts. And then this is a momentary switch, which when I press in, it shoots 12 volts. When I press out, it'll deactivate the 12 volts. So this is perfect for starting over your engine or, or wiring it up to the to the starter. There's all these wires. Um, they're all pre-labeled. Cruise control start. The start I'm running into my switch. The engine start. And then I have another one that says uh, key. Let me see if I can show it real quick. Key 12. This key 12 is it's uh, wired up to this um, latching switch. And then as far as the whole wire up, you have constant 12. You have ground. This is fuel positive, and each relay, it's its own designated um, terminal. So obviously I have it grounded, my positive, this small wire pretty much just goes to the switch that will activate the PCM when I press it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn it on for you guys, okay? Check this out. So press, and you hear the whole fuel pump, you hear the throttle body, the PCM activated. You see it's green, now we're gonna turn on. Got yourself a full pallet turnkey 5.0 liter with only 24,000 miles. Super simple.